The northern polar ice cap has been showing the effects of global warming more rapidly than any other place on Earth. Yet even as observations show accelerating change, climate deniers remain weirdly disconnected from reality. So what we're talking about is the Earth's northern polar ice cap. And what that's made of is ice that's floating on top of the Arctic Ocean. And this is ice that's anywhere from like three feet at the thinnest to about 20 feet at the maximum. And we're interested in this ice for a couple of reasons. The first thing is right now it functions like a giant mirror on the top of the planet. And when sunlight comes in, it reflects those rays of light back into space. Well, ice has very different reflectivity than water. Water is a lot darker. So as that ice retreats, we get more dark water exposed. Now that incoming solar radiation gets absorbed and it heats up the water. And that also increases the amount of ice that melts. Now, something you need to understand, too, is that that ice is dynamic. Every winter it grows and continues out, and then every summer it melts back. The reason people are concerned right now is that in the past few years, we've seen a dramatic summer melting that takes the ice back to a point that's far, far, far smaller than we've ever seen it before. And in 2009, we set the stage for another year of this continued melting and reaching what are near record lows. Important though, not just because of how much ice we have in terms of extent, the thickness of that ice is also important. And in 2009, what we also released were some new satellite results where with first time, we were able to figure out what the thickness of the Arctic ice is all over the place. And what we're finding is that it's thinner now. And that also thinner ice is easier to melt than thick ice. And so all of this is setting the stage for predictions of an Arctic that is ice-free in summer months somewhere in the coming decades. The U.S. Navy's chief oceanographer, Rear Admiral David Titley, is keenly aware of the situation. Uh, we believe that within two or three decades we could see significant times in which there was almost no ice in the Arctic, and that has huge implications.